Have you ever made love all night long? She says she wanna make a love. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel if you're new, welcome. Today I'm gonna be doing part two of Battle of the Gels. I'm gonna be using the African Pride Aloe and Coconut Water Curl Defining Gel. And if you haven't watched my first episode, um, I used the Mish, I can't remember the name of it, the Mish, Michi, Mish, I think it's Mish. Okay, I used the Mish Sculpt Curl Defining Gel. And I'm gonna be trying this one today. And if you haven't watched my um, first series of Battle of the Gels, go and um, watch that as well. I have a playlist of I think it's I think it's called Battle of the Gels. Either called Battle of the Gels or Wash and Goes. And I had some really good gels on there, so make sure you go check that out. And before we do get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video. Um, and if you have any recommendations on some gels that you would like me to try, comment those down below. And if you've tried this one before, let me know how it's worked with you for you, because I see it a lot. I've just never tried it before because like I said in like all my other videos I usually just stick to the basics but I'm trying to try some new things um, and then let's see and then I'm really scared to try this I'm not sure if coconut water is similar to coconut oil my hair doesn't like coconut oil um, but I'm not sure if they're the same <laughs> um, but anyways I um, shampooed and conditioned my hair and I have my um, my leave-in conditioner in the one that I always use like this in the spray bottle super lightweight that's why I, I like it if you like a heavier leave-in that's not it's not free so yeah let's go ahead and get started this one oh let me read the instructions so this one doesn't say your hair needs to be soaking wet so I, that's why I didn't bother doing it in the shower it says apply to small sections of clean wet hair smooth into hair into downward motion follow immediately with the styling brush or comb to define each section scrunch coils and curls as needed it allows the air dryer or sit under a hooded dryer i am not going to be using the styling brush i guess i can kind of try it but i don't like using styling brushes because i feel like i can never get my root um i'm gonna start with that much and add some more if needed Oh, also, if you haven't watched watched my last <laughs> my last the last video I just posted with the Mish gel, I kind of gave a review on the hooded dryer I bought, <laughs> and I definitely regret buying it because I guess I don't know. I guess I should have invested or gonna have to invest in like a higher quality dryer because this one is so cheap it, it literally only dries like the top of my head so I had to get my diffuser and just blow dry the bottom so I'm like and it's not powerful like my blow dryer is stronger than the hood dryer so I'm just like okay let's follow their instructions and crunch They're looking good, they're looking good. Oh, this thing is stepping at me. Okay. Maybe on this side, I'll try like the first section with um, using a brush, but like I said, I like to get down at my roots. Like the brush gets down to your roots, but 
don't even know how to explain it. It gets down to your roots, but it doesn't, it's not like real defining at the root. So my roots are always puffy and the ends be like super defined, which is weird. So I don't know. Does that happen to anybody else? Maybe I'm not using the right type of brush. Y'all see that? Where am I tripping? Ooh, please don't flake. Did I test this out with the meal? I think I tested it out with the meal even on my hand. And it shouldn't flake, but. For this one, I wanted to use a leave-in because I don't, I'm not sure if it's a, I'm not sure if it's a, what am I trying to say? I'm not sure if it's a, like a, like a super moisturizing gel. Well, I guess it says moisture miracle, hydrate and hold, but. Okay, I'm probably gonna do this section and then just um, come back when I'm like at my veins, like I usually do. And I'll just come back pre, pre ooh, what am I trying to say? Periodically, <laughs> if I have anything to say. But this, I'm just gonna speed up, just so we can see the front section. Cause I don't know if y'all can tell, like in my other videos, but um, the curls at the bottom of my hair always are different than like this part of my head. So that's why I like to show both. y'all can see that like I hope that isn't gonna be flaking like is it just maybe it's just not mixing well with the leave-in but I could have sworn I tested it last week like on the back of my hand because I was trying to test to see if the the mesh um if the mesh gel would work with any of the leave-ins I had I tried like four leave-ins and it, it didn't mix, <laughs> so I was like, let me just use it on its own. Okay, I'm liking this so far, actually. I just hope that it's not gonna flake because I put that leave-in in. Like, I'm not sure if y'all can see that, like the real, I'm not sure if it's just shining or if it's not mixing with the leave-in or if it's just sitting on top of my hair. Ooh, this has glycerin in it. FII.
so close up. Oh, I'm hoping this doesn't play. Like, I know I'm not tripping. I know y'all can see that. Like, all right. I'm gonna complete the rest of these sections, and like I said, I'll be back when I get to my bangs. All right, y'all. I just finished this side. Oh, I forgot to go get the brush. Anyways, oh, maybe I'll try that another day. Cause I do not feel like getting up. Um, but I think. I'm liking it so far. I just really hoping that it's not gonna flake. Um, and another thing I wanna say, like, I'm trying to think of another gel that does this, but I think it's just sitting on my hair, like, let's see if y'all can hear that. Let me get the next. Like, do y'all hear that? Like, that crunch? Like, I'm not sure what that crunch is. If it's just like sitting on my hair. The glycerin, the coconut water, I don't know what it is, but it's just like, I feel like it's just sitting. And it feels hydrating, which is a weird part. I don't know. <laughs> and it's like super lightweight, so I'm hoping it's gonna last. Actually, the last two I've tried were the Mish was really lightweight. But go watch that video if you wanna see my full thoughts on that. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and do my bangs. Yeah, but I'm not sure what that crunch is about. I don't think none of my other gels makes that noise. So that's why I feel like it's just sitting on my, uh, on top of my hair. We gonna see as the days go on. Sorry about my memory card um, is full, so my camera cut off in the middle of me talking, but I finished my bangs. This is what it's looking like so far. I'm about to go um, diffuse it, maybe sit another hooded jar to get my roots, but that's what it's looking like so far. I have, I'm hopeful, but I'm just scared. I don't want it to flake. That's what I feel like it's going to do. I feel like it's sitting on top of my hair. But anyways, I will be back once my hair is dry. All right, y'all. Right after I like blow dried my hair day one, my hair, it was stiff, like stiff as hell. Like you can tell, like look how it's like barely moving. And that made me like super nervous. <laughs> Cause I'm like, what if this doesn't go away? Like it was hard. Like I don't think I have any other gels that do that. Like just make your hair stiff like that on the first day but <laughs> day two it started to soften a little bit but as you can kind of see it's still a little bit stiff um and I think I don't remember what I was saying I think I was saying it was like crunchy not crunchy but like <laughs> it had like a feeling that maybe just me adding too much because I was watching footage and it looks like I was going a little bit heavy-handed but I don't remember because <laughs> I don't talk to these um and then on day three, this is where it started um, actually like softening. And I like started liking it. I was getting volume, it was soft. Um, and there was like a little bit of a curl. Like it didn't define my hair as much as I would have liked, but it was so cute. 
and I was glad that the like stiffness gave away but like day four. Oh, and this is just how I shake my hair out in the morning. I just take my bonnet off and shake it. So that's why my face looks like this because I usually wash my face and then brush my teeth and then record this video. <laughs> um, but yeah, just a little bit of up close. Alright, y'all. And this is day five. Y'all don't mind my face. <laughs> I don't know why I was looking like that. Um, but overall, I really like this gel. And I would definitely recommend it if you don't like glycerin or like coconut water, I guess. I don't know. I would stay away from it. But I guess it didn't really do bad for my hair. I haven't used it consistently. So I'm not sure how it would work over time. With like, So it was definitely a good gel. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Um, right there. Um, before... Our it being day six, I think it looks pretty good. I don't mind like the like the frizz and like the puffiness that comes with, you know, a week of like being in your wash and go. So I think this is really good. I would definitely recommend that you do try it if you haven't already. If you have tried it, comment down below. Let me how I work let me know how it worked on your hair. Um don't forget to like this video and subscribe. But as always, I'm sending you love and positive energy and I hope you carry that with you throughout your day. Peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.